you soon. Many thanks for that. Let's go to Michael Wilson in the City of London. And Michael, it's fair to say, almost panicked there yesterday. A bit calmer this morning, but presumably not about the state of bank shares. No, indeed so. You mentioned RBS. They've in fact come up about a quarter from where they were right down this morning, about 25% on, on rumours of a possible takeover bid. Uh, this is just market rumour right now, just dealing room rumour, but it's been enough. The name of HSBC has been entered into that rumour, but it is just a rumour that that has actually uh, pushed up the share price there. That's the kind of atmosphere that we are in at the moment. These rumours going, doing the rounds and, and shifting around the share prices because there is a vacuum of knowledge about what's actually going on. First of all with the banks certainly, but that's been that's been the same for about 18 months. What the real problem is, is that the government uh, is not giving us any detail about what's going on. Don't let me speak for me, let me speak for these people here. They are very concerned, they realise how serious this is. Let's not underestimate what we are actually going through at the moment. You know, I don't want to sound like a crack record, but this is very serious indeed. And not to have information about what the bank is, about what the government is planning to do about the banking crisis is creating this vacuum where all sorts of things are actually flying around the moment. No wonder the banks get voted down. As Patrick Hoskin was saying from the Times to you, Dermot, just uh, earlier on in your programme, you know, the one thing about banks is they are a house of cards if there's no confidence. And there is no confidence at the moment because we don't know which way forward we're going out of this. Now, the government has said that it doesn't want to give any details about any particular policy for this. Well, we need to know something. We need to know if somebody is talking to somebody else. If there are conversations going on behind closed doors, these guys want to know that they are taking place. That's why the share. So the market actually is acting just like a normal market would. Lack of information, get rid of it. And uh, what is their preferred option up to this point in the UK? We've seen the takeover route, so to speak, being uh, being the solution for troubled banks. Either the government does it or uh, some kind of marriage is engineered. Do you think we might see more of that kind of thing? Should a, should a bank get into real trouble? In, well, or, or could the government take just a stake? Let's, let's, let's do the two, shall we? And, and, and let's say that either of those two options might be quite good. There is a strong feeling that there are still too many banks, right, number one. So I think that, you know, like with this chat with RBS and so, maybe there is, there, there, there is some sort of truth in the general feeling that there ought to be fewer banks, number one. Number two, the state taking a stake in the bank. Well, that's got to be worked out so that, A, when this crisis is over, as we all hope it will be, <laughs> that the, the taxpayer makes a profit on that shareholding and also existing shareholders in the bank don't feel as though their holding in that particular bank is diluted by the very fact that there are more shareholders. Now there are ways and means of doing this. It is nationalisation. I mean it would be an extraordinary step. They probably all have to do it uh, just because it would be silly just to have one without the others doing it because that would speak volumes about the, their relative strengths. But that's the kind of thing that we're facing. But as I say, we need the detail. Okay, well, uh, let's go to Downing Street. Thanks for that, Michael. Let's go to Downing Street, uh, where Cabinet met this morning, and that was the first meeting of the reshuffled Cabinet. Has, has anything emerged from that Cabinet meeting, Ursula? Well, the detail that Michael in the city is looking for certainly won't be coming from here anytime soon. When the ministers left the cabinet meeting, it was a whopping cabinet meeting of about an hour and a half long. Uh, they had nothing to say on the issue of the next step for the banks. Uh, it was interesting that Mr. Brown, of course, was leading the.